Hello, I am Rydian, and this is World of Warcraft, Mists of Pandaria. Today, we're looking at the Death Knights. Don't look awesome. Seriously? It's amazing. Check this sword out. Ash candy, baby. Oh, yeah. Alright, enough of that. So, this character has literally just been transferred over. So, as soon as it happens, your talents will be reset, your keys will be a total mess, and, well, you're kind of lost. But, let's take a look at what we got. Choose your spec. Yes, we know. Right, Blood, Frost, Unholy. Now, things are mostly the same, honestly. You pretty much recognize every single thing right here. You recognize the same here. There's nothing new. Um, I like you get Mr. Fro Might of the Frozen Wastes automatically. Um, just expect to get some sort of two-handed thing. Maybe not. Unholy... Exactly the same, really. There's just been sorted out more properly in the spec form. But let's go Frost. And then suddenly we get a bunch of new abilities, which is all fine and good. Let's take a look at the talents. Again, this is where we get interesting. What do we have here? Ro roiling blood. Uh, some tanking talent is specifically blood boil. Vile spew causes an undead minion to erupt in a shower of bile. Huh. <laughs> More of an undead talent, I suppose. I mean, although you can summon a ghoul in the other two specs as well. This one seems handy. It's like an an AoE disease thing. Let's pick that one. Anti Magic Stone vs. Lichborn. We've seen those before. Icy Grip. This is pretty much uh, just a buff to Death Grip. Seems handy and everything, but I remember Anti Magic Stone being pretty useful as well for tank, Lichborn, a PvP thing. Let's go with Icy Grip. Death's Advance is PvP. Again, you can't get slowed below 75%. Kind of handy, because if you try to PvP as a Death Knight, you will find a lot of times you're being kited really well. Of course, if you're Frost, that's not really that big a deal, because you, your Howling Blast hits so goddamn hard, but still, pretty good. Other stuff is to stop to keep people slowed, and this is just to make uh, Strangulate better. It's a flat-out stun instead of just silence. Now, this... It's pretty damn strong. It gives you a uh, ranged 5 second stun on, on 1 minute cooldown. Pretty much like uh, Hand of Justice or whatever, but much longer range. And not only that, if it's immune to stun, it will still silence. So that is pretty damn strong. That'll be the one I pick all the time, pretty much, unless I notice that the other two are more useful in PvP. But it's gonna be hard to beat a 5 second stun. That's pretty fucking strong, really, compared to what a Death Knight had before. Like, you can bust out a lot of burst. And if you notice, this costs neither runic power or a rune. So, being able to just stun and then go straight up and unload everything you have, pretty damn strong. Death Pack, nothing new. Death Siphon, it's... This is it, pretty interesting. Specifically requires a death rune. And you use... It deals Shadow Frost damage, which I assume is the same as, you know, Frostfire. In that, if they're resistant to one, it'll count as the other. And it'll heal you. Pretty cool. Also, a nice ability to use, I feel like. This is just turning runic power into health. Nice, but it's also, eh, I don't know. I'd rather just kill things. This seems interesting, but I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's not going to be that much damage. So, this, I could take or leave any of these either, but, uh, but this one sounds the coolest, so this one I'm going to go with. And these are boring as well. Runic Empowerment is the, the standard Frost one, chance to reactivate runes. This is the one that increases your uh, rune regeneration faster. Personally, I'm much fonder of this. Like, less procs will be better for me. And then, this, this just blood type. Actually, this is different. This isn't them before. It generates blood charges that you can then consume and activate on will. So, all of these is like getting back runes. But it depends on what you want to do. This is when you want to, after charging up. This is on a proc, and this just makes them regen faster. I'm going to stick with this one. This is pretty cool to me. So, boom. Picked all those. And we're pretty much all set. This is the major changes for the Death Knights. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. I mean, there's nothing super exciting in terms of new abilities. I mean, they're all the same. We do have control on dead, though. That is pretty cool. Uh, I, I expect this pretty much you just take over uh, another dead at uh, whatever lasts up to five minutes. Uh, so you like make yourself a new minion from that. That's pretty sweet. 
Well, this is an awesome asphyxia. That's a pretty damn badass spell. The rest is the same. Nothing new. Pretty much the same. I do like how they've redesigned the spell book. Everything is now in passive or active. We'll be getting some new abilities soon uh, when we reach higher levels. Soul Reaper is pretty cool. Uh, straight out that uh, execute move type move. And there we have passives. You know, they are the boring ones. But yeah, that's a Death Knight for you. Until next time, goodbye.